hi friends nice having you all here today my old subscribers thank you and to those that are viewing for the first time or probably you've been viewing but you've not subscribed please take this time to hit on the subscribe button also the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video and to my new subscribers thank you for subscribing please do not forget to hit on the like button this is a very surprising and shocking news we're just receiving this morning a lot of people are shocked because people never felt this would happen to mm. this particular actor and in the past so many people even thought that he wasn't married and that is actor Kalu. he was mentioned as one of the single guys in nollywood back then like two years ago unknown to a lot of people that he was already married He's been married for six years. But the unfortunate thing and the sad thing is actually happening to his marriage right now. This particular actor has now filed for divorce from his wife, whom he has been married to, like I said, six years. And it's going to shock people, though these are reasons why some other people file for mm. divorce. But in his own situation, people will be like, he's a handsome guy he can get any woman he wants so why don't he just leave the wife and then get what he wants from outside but it's a different case entirely from actor Callum. he is trying to go about it in a very honorable and responsible way and the hearing of their lawsuit for him seeking that this marriage should end with himself and his wife ijoma this court hearing, as I speak with you right now, is going on at Ikeja High Court, Lagos State, Nigeria. Today being May 30th, 2022. However, the actor is telling the court that his wife, Ijoma, allegedly deserted their marriage. She left the home and she stopped having any intercourse with him after they welcomed their first son. Some people will say, you can get it outside if she doesn't want to give it to you. Why don't she keep being your wife? But he's saying now that mm. she left the marriage. It's not even just about her not allowing him to have any intimacy with her. But the fact that she decided to leave the home. And while they were still being interrogated... Kanu told the court that his wife packed out of their matrimonial home and that she just sent him a mail that she was on her way to her father's house in Enugu. This was his exact words. From what he's actually saying right now in court, this is what he said. I got back home from a trip on August 4th, 2021 to find out that my wife had left our matrimonial home with the children to an undisclosed location. I tried to contact her when I got to the house and found it empty. I sent her an email on that same day and she replied that she had gone to her father's house in Enugu. She told me she was at her father's place in Enugu and for four days later, I saw her at the airport in Lagos heading to God knows where. In the mail she sent, she said she was in Enugu. So you can see now that the actor is saying that his wife said she was going to Enugu to her father's house. Meanwhile, he now saw her four days later at the airport in Lagos State. And that was what got him more confused and like what is really happening. Mm -hmm. However, the actor who is also seeking full custody of his three-year-old son and 10 years old stepdaughter also denied the claim that he sent his wife and kids out of the house and that he failed to provide for their upkeep because that is the rumor that has been going on and that is why he's trying to say that is not the real thing that this is what is happening he never sent them out of the house and that his stepdaughter who is 10 years old he wants custody of his three years old son and also the step daughter the actor went further and told the court that his wife did not want to have any intimacy with him and also 
she poured water on him while he was asleep. However, he kept on telling the court that he never knew that his wife lost a pregnancy as a result of a sexually transmitted infection while they were still together. Because that is what the wife is saying. And these were his exact words again. I'm just trying to break it down so that we would understand what he's saying. He said this directly coming from the actor. After the birth of our son, she has refused to have sex with me. I was not aware she lost the pregnancy due to an infection as I did not give her any infection. Till date, I have not seen any report attached to a document that she lost a baby through STD. Though I did not ask her why she lost the baby, all he knows is that he just got to hear that she lost a pregnancy. More interesting thing is still coming out or more shocking information is still coming out from the actor because different rumors have been spreading around. A lot of people heard different things. He even went on to say that he intentionally stopped sending money to the children for upkeep and maintenance because his wife denied him of being the father of his stepdaughter. Even said that this happened after she accused him of attempting to sleep with the child and she failed to acknowledge the money he sent to her a lot of things has just been going on in this family unknown to people even his colleague never knew that this was happening in his home and he even said that the last time he sent money to them was in november 2021 and that he stopped sending money because his wife denied him of being the father to his stepdaughter and that he is saying that his wife accused him of trying to sleep with the 10 years old stepdaughter. Wow, this is a very, very serious issue. It's not something that should be taken lightly at all. Whether it's true or not, both of them are the only ones that can say the truth. And so they kept asking him, okay, the stepdaughter that your wife said doesn't belong to you. Why are you not trying to claim custody of the stepdaughter? I swear he said that he was informed that his wife is trying to relocate the children and to avoid that that is why he now wants to have custody of both the stepdaughter and his own biological son this was what he told the court directly i want custody of the two children the reason i sought for revocation was because my wife had mm. turned my stepdaughter against me and at that point i got a hint that she wanted to fly the children abroad I have never been married to any woman before I got married to my wife. I married her after she had her daughter. I earlier said the issue of revocation was because I felt she wanted to use me. My Lord, look at the precedence on how I have treated the girl from the very beginning. I am an actor by profession and I have traveled to locations within and outside Nigeria in which I can spend five days to one month at the moment it may be difficult but i am thinking about the future when i remarry and get a stable wife but in response the judge had to respond back to actor Kal who wants to have custody of the children this was the exact words that the judge had to tell the actor with regards to what the actor is requesting he said this according to the child's right act you cannot deny the children the best education even if you're quarreling with your wife. If I should, as a judgment, grant you a divorce, and if your wife is in Enugu and you stay in Lagos, why should I give you the custody of a 10-year-old girl to you while her mother is still alive? The Supreme Court ruled that it is not the wealth of a father that the children of the age need. They need the care and attention of their biological mother. The only reason the girl child should not be in the custody of the mother is if the mother is mentally derailed or the issue of infidelity is involved assuming the girl starts her monthly period you as a father do not know what to do you will be scared of the blood a female girl is delicate your own case is worse because an accusation has been levied against you this was the exact word that is coming from the judge so you can see that the judge is not even on the side of the actor 
from all indication the judge is still on the fence but a little bit it may favor his wife at the end because that accusation that the wife has levied against him with regards to having to try making attempt to sleep with the 10 years old daughter who is his stepdaughter and then depriving them of their upkeep it's a very serious allegation and that is why the judge is not giving his final verdict but the judge adjoined the case and said until june 23rd 2022 there will be a continuation of the hearing guys you can see that this is a very very complex and complicated issue there are a lot of allegations against him and it may be very difficult for Akta Kali to eventually win this case. But well, let's see how it goes. From all indication, it's going to be tough on the actor's path for him to get full custody of both children. And the son is just three years old and the stepdaughter is 10. Obviously, he can't even take custody of the stepdaughter because... She is a biological mother. He is a stepdad to her. And for the son, he's still very little. That is why the judge made emphasis that so long as their biological mother is still alive, that he can't have custody of both kids. Guys, whatever update you have regarding this, as the hearing will continue on June 23rd, I will definitely keep you all updated. Things like this can be very messy and it will be very difficult for you to say who would win at the end of the day. But like I said, let's see what happens. Definitely, the judge will give his final verdict at the end of the hearing. Guys, I'm going to stop here. Please, before you leave, do not forget to hit on the subscribe button. Also, the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.